Hi guys, my name is Basilia and welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm a digital nomad and I share content about working online, relocating and traveling the world, living life on your terms. Uh, in this video, I will be sharing with you guys the five questions to ask yourself to access your ability to relocate, okay? Just to give you guys a quick introduction, people relocate for a lot of reasons, okay? And some of them include uh, if you live in a country where the environment is hostile towards you, there's wars, the quality of life is very low, income is very low, uh, there's no security, for example, Nigerians. Um, who have insecurity, uh, there's no constant electricity, um, income is low, inflation is eating income levels. So all these reasons cause people to want to relocate. But here's the thing, relocating is an expensive endeavor. It takes a lot of effort because you're actually uprooting yourself from your environment that you know and understand and you're going to a new place where you don't even understand there's a different culture different weather different way of life and uh it's a big deal basically so if you want to relocate uh here are the five questions that you need to ask yourself to be able to access your ability to relocate. And if you do realize that you cannot relocate, after asking yourself these questions, at the end of this video, I will offer the solution for what you can do instead. So make sure you watch this video until the end, guys. So let's dive right in. So the number one question you should ask yourself to be able to assess your ability to relocate is why am I relocating, okay? A lot of people send me DMs telling me they want to relocate, how badly they want to relocate, but then when I ask them why, they just tell me vague answers like, um, because I'm tired of where I am or because I'm tired of this and that. But they forget that no country is perfect and you must know why you want to leave the environment that you know to go live somewhere else. Why do you want to relocate? Is it because you want security, you want access to better medical health care, you want 24-7 uh, electricity so you can work online in peace and not have power outages uh, cause you to miss out on jobs, you know? Why do you want to relocate? Knowing why will help you to understand how to choose the right place for you because if you don't know why you're relocating then you're just shooting arrows randomly you don't have a target so ask yourself right now why do i want to relocate and don't give yourself a vague answer take a moment to think about it why do you want to relocate what are you looking to optimize in your life by relocating so guys the second question you should ask yourself oh my god did you start a construction near my house <laughs> Okay. The second question you should ask yourself to assess your ability to relocate is what kind of jobs am I hoping to get abroad? And a sub question to that is what is your level of work experience? Okay, a lot of people say they want to relocate, they must be somewhere else. But for you to be able to live somewhere else, you should be able to work there. So if you think about it and you're like, oh, I want to be a doctor abroad or I want to be a mechanic abroad and all of that you need to then look at your work history. What is your level of experience? Have you worked as a doctor in your country? Are you currently experienced as a carpenter in your country? Or are you experienced as an administrator in your country? What's your level of experience? This question is super important because you need to have a job where you're going to. And oftentimes for you to be able to relocate, you need to get a job prior to your relocation. You know, most countries will not give you a visa if you don't already have a job prior to relocating. So if you don't have a job experience and you're hoping to get certain jobs abroad that you don't have experience for, then clearly it may not be possible for you to relocate because you must have a job abroad and you must get the job offer prior to relocating. So ask yourself, what jobs am I hoping to get abroad? Do I have the work experience for this job? Asking yourself these questions will help you see if you can relocate or not guys the third question to ask yourself to assess your ability to relocate is can I afford to relocate relocation costs money okay let's not kid ourselves here if you don't have the money to pay for your visa application fees to pay for your cost of living for the first few months abroad your flights settling your affairs in your country doing uh, medical reports job offers and all of that 
then you clearly cannot relocate because you must be able to afford relocation. There's nothing waiting for you abroad. There's no handouts waiting for you abroad. Tons of people believe that once they just relocate, then everything's gonna be rosy, especially Nigerians. They believe that once they leave Nigeria, that's it, life is perfect. They're gonna be earning tons of money, tons of money, and everything's gonna be okay, but that's not the case. If you cannot afford to even make the application and prepare to be in a new country, then clearly you cannot relocate and if you realize that you can't relocate, stick around guys because I will be sharing the solution of what to do instead if you realize that you cannot relocate. So this brings me to the fourth question to ask yourself, to assess your ability to relocate, which is what is my dream lifestyle, okay? Some people take this for granted, but I think it's very, very important, okay? For example, if your dream lifestyle is you want the big city life, you know, the hustle and bustle of city life, like like big cities like Lagos, New York, Berlin, you know, if that's the kind of life you want where everything's in the center and there's this hustle and bustle, then it will not make sense for you to go to an island where the life is quiet, it's serene. It will not make sense for you to go to an island like Barbados or Cape Verde or even go to countries like Montenegro where there's no big city life, right? So guys, ask yourself, what is your dream lifestyle? What do you want? Knowing your dream lifestyle will help you to figure out the country that's right for you. Because like I said, if you want a big city lifestyle, then you cannot choose a country like Cape Verde because there is no city life there. It's mostly vacation-y, you know, chill, quiet life, you know, where you can relax, no stress, and have a great time. This brings me to the fifth question to ask yourself to access your ability to relocate, guys, which is, do I have dependents? Okay, a lot of people forget this. Relocating as one person is already expensive enough, you know? Then relocating with dependents, dependents being a husband, a child, maybe a brother or a sister that depends on you financially and you're gonna be responsible for them. If you have dependents, this impacts your ability to relocate in the major way because it's additional relocation costs. For example, you have to pay for a visa application for more people, for each dependent that you have. If you have a husband and two children, then it's not just you now. It's you, your husband, and your two kids. And you have to pay for a visa application cost for four people, pay for flights for four people. You have to show proof of funds that you can afford to sustain you and three other people that you're traveling with for a certain amount of time abroad. And you have to show you can take care of them which is a huge cost. If you have dependents, make your calculations and see if it makes sense, if you can actually afford to take care of them and foot your own bills, because this is a huge, huge cost factor, guys. So ask yourself, how many dependents do I have? If it's just you, awesome. If it's you and a husband and kids, or you and a family member, then you have to see if it makes sense for you financially, guys. So, uh, just to recap, uh, the five questions to ask yourself to access your ability to relocate. The first one is, why am I relocating? The second one is, what jobs are you hoping to get abroad based on your level of experience, your skills? Third one is, can I afford to relocate? The fourth one is, what is my dream lifestyle? And the fifth one is, do I have dependents? So if you've answered these questions accurately and honestly, and you realize that you answered no to at least three out of the five questions or four out of the five questions or even five out of the five questions, sadly, you cannot relocate. So like I promised, what can you do if you realize that you can't relocate, guys? So this is the solution, okay? If you see that you can't relocate, the next best thing is for you to think about it. How can I optimize my life where I am? For example, if you live in a place like Nigeria where there's insecurity, there's no 27 electricity, income is low, you know, there's no water, you know, all of these things, then think about it. How can I optimize my life so that I can have a more comfortable life here? So the next thing is to look for ways to increase your income. If you earn better, if you have more disposable income, then you can afford to live in a safer neighborhood, you can afford to live in a service department where you don't have to worry about electricity because there's a generator service in the apartment. You can then afford to live in a place with clean water, you know, yes, it's not going to solve all your problems, but it will allow you to live a better life where you are because 
Relocating is a very, very costly endeavor. And if you cannot afford that, maybe you can take steps to be able to optimize your life where you are. So guys, this brings me to the end of the video. And I hope you will ask yourself these questions honestly to be able to access your ability to relocate. And if you realize that you can relocate awesome but if you realize that you cannot relocate then you might want to consider this alternative way for you to optimize your life where you are so guys thanks for watching this video until the end and in my next video i will be sharing with you guys how to choose the right country for you so guys uh looking forward to seeing you in the next video and thanks for watching guys until next time bye bye